In recent weeks rumors of a rift between the Duchesses of Cambridge and Sussex have been rife, but it seems that Kate and Meghan managed to put any differences aside in the spirit of Christmas. The sister-in-laws are said to have enjoyed a game of Scrabble together on the big day according to new reports. The wives of Windsor, whose differing personalities were said to be at the center of the rift, celebrated Christmas with the Queen and the rest of the royal family in Sandringham earlier this week where they are reported to have got on famously. An insider told The Sun, after watching the Queen's speech, the board games were brought out and both women we got stuck in. Pregnant Meghan wasn't drinking but Kate had a glass of wine or two, and everyone was in great spirits. They were chuckling along together. You wouldn't know there was any tension between the two. It was a wonderful day and night. Mail Online has contacted Kensington Palace for comment. Rumors of a royal rift between the women began swirling after news emerged that Meghan and Harry will move away from Kensington Palace to make their home 25 miles away from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in Windsor. There were claims that Kate broke down in tears following Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid's dress fitting, ahead of Meghan and Harry's wedding in May, as well as suggestions the pair had clashed over staff. Then just weeks ago sources claimed Meghan, 37, was fed up of not being able to stand up for herself as the demands of royal protocol dictate she keeps a dignified silence amid rumors of tension between the sisters-in-law. An insider told Us Weekly the pregnant duchess is finding it frustrating and stressful having no voice, and finds the constraints of royal life debilitating. Once an outspoken feminist who gave speeches at United Nations forums, Meghan has since shut down her social media accounts as part of her transition from actress to duchess. However, royal insiders have insisted that there has been no falling out between the Cambridges and the Sussexes, but admitted the pair are very different people. A source previously told the Daily Mail's Rebecca English, while there are some tensions behind the scenes, Kate is pretty unflappable and nothing has become bad enough to make Harry and Meghan want to move out. People are genuinely pleased to see them so happy. The truth is that there simply isn't enough room at Kensington Palace for them and I know they have been looking at Windsor as a possibility since before the wedding. 